there was an anti-vax rally over the weekend. This one was much less publicized, but I did do a story today on the podcast and we'll have a YouTube clip released soon. I'm just going to show you guys a little bit. Um, Lara Logan spoke introducing a 14 year old who then went on an anti-vax diatribe. Check this out. For human and civil rights, hold Hold the the line. line. And for our children, hold Hold the line. And one more time, California, California, hold the line. Love wins. Does anybody know what mandates they're protesting? I was talking to those ladies back there. You know, you don't want to be friends with them. They chained their best friends to the Capitol building in one of their protests. Oh, my God. They've been arrested a number of times. So those are brave ladies, right? I mean, that's pretty extraordinary. Okay, so now there's a young man waiting there. He's by far the best dressed at this event today. And uh, he's only 14 years old. And he's really it's really sad what's happened to Lara Logan just completely lost her mind nervous, but he's really prepared. He probably did more work coming here today than any of us. And I asked him, what's the most important thing I need to know about you? And he said, I'm a Christian. Oh. And a fighter and a warrior and an activist. His friends don't talk to him anymore. His brother and sister think he's gone crazy. Mm. And if it weren't for mom and dad, he might not be here today. So please. Well, yeah, I mean, in a literal sense, if it weren't for mom and dad, he wouldn't be there today. Yeah, that's that's true. Welcome onto the stage. A little man. Look at this. Called Lucky. (laughs) This is this kid is like Trump. Check this out. This is a freedom activist. It's time we stand and fight. We cannot let the weaklings take us down. The brainwash will not defeat us. America will be strong again and California will be liberated, people. Guys, they're going to liberate California from what I don't know, but it will soon be free. Our country is in peril. This kid has to be a victim, right? In some like, let me just see if Biden's up yet. Uh, We'll turn the audio up so we don't miss it. It's hard to imagine this kid is anything but a victim. This is not a Democratic issue. This is not a Republican issue. It is an American issue. Freedom. All Americans deserve to be our founding fathers founded this country on the right to be free. If this if we were told that this was satire, we would all believe it, right? Like if I said, hey, guys, check out this incredible satire of like just a kid spewing anti-vax stuff and like doesn't even know what's going on. We would all believe that it's satire if, if that was the premise, I think. And I say, take back our freedom. was kicked out of my school because I did not get that vaccine. Now, that doesn't matter. What matters is that I have the choice. Why don't I have a choice that is supposed to be entitled to me as an American? Anyway, so that's pretty vile. Let's see. um, There were some other really inspirational speakers. I'm just trying to look through here. We've got a bunch of clips on, uh, on a clip that's coming out. 
Uh, oh, Brett Weinstein spoke. Let's see what he had to say. We must preserve the gains of Nuremberg, liberate the practice of medicine from the pharmaceutical industry, defeat the mandates, and come together as Americans. Good luck to you all. It's just, it's kind of like a who cares type of thing. Like, you know, see who else was there. I don't, I don't even know who these people are. Let's see, let's just see who this is. Dr. Henry Ely is treating the vaccine injured. And what I want you to do is point to yourself. Excellent. Most of you are pointing right to your heart. You see, when we come together in love, the impossible becomes possible. And right. that How many people think this guy is a medical doctor versus some kind of, you know, naturopathic doctor? I don't know who this guy is. I'm going to look it up. How many of us think this guy's an MD? Just just take does anybody think he's an MD? I don't know anything about him. We're going to look it up right now. All right, let's check it out. Here's his. Uh, oh, wait a second. No, let me find something else. Oh, we were going to get to Jimmy Dore next. Hold on a second. Let's see what we've got. Doctorate in naturopathic medicine. There it is. It's. Uh, yep, you guys called it. Not a medical doctor. Now, strictly, like, it's it's not just about an appeal to authority, like, oh, well, you should only ever listen to an MD. But it's like, yeah, OK, anyway, he's not even a chiropractor. Exactly, exactly. All right. So we'll get to the Jimmy Dore thing in a moment. Uh, oh, here's a beautiful twenty dollar super chat. Max Blumenthal spoke at this event. I thought that was odd. Oh, that is weird. I've met him a couple times. Jimmy Dore spoke at, at the event as well. The, the event was was gutter trash. It was really bad. 